kind of old, True. my life's kind of boring, also but I'll film it anyway. No one asked for this. So. Hope you're ready for it, cause I'm blocking till Christmas Day. Oh my god, please never let me do that again. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Vlogmas number 12. We made it to the end of the road. I am so tired. It is currently 6.26 in the morning. We've been driving for a little over two hours already, and the sun is just now rising. Look at that. Wow. We're currently somewhere near Indio, California, so I guess a little less than halfway there. But we didn't face any traffic leaving LA, which was amazing. Like usually when you get past this point in the drive, you're you're pretty good to go, thank God. But yeah, we're just filling up with some gas. Drew's inside getting himself some coffee and a little snack, going to the bathroom, and then I'm gonna go in after that. It's our first time driving back to Arizona without Layla, which is like really sad because we have all of her favorite spots and places we used to take her and stuff. And it just makes me pretty bummed, but I'm trying to keep the vibes high. I fell asleep at about 11 p.m. and we left at 4.16 a.m. and I woke up at four. So it's definitely um, been a rude awakening to wake up this early, but you know, it's just what you gotta do to avoid traffic. It's part of living in a big city. I would much rather do this than be stuck in traffic for nine hours like we were leaving in the afternoon last year. <laughs> so it's all good. There is a lovely Arby's and Taco Bell in this um, little travel center that we're at right now, this little TA gas station. I will not be participating in either of those, unfortunately, at 6.28 in the morning. I think Drew is gonna drive the second half, or maybe I will, because sometimes, honestly, I am way more comfortable driving myself. Like, it just gives me way less anxiety. I feel way more in control. I'm like a pretty bad passenger seat driver, honestly. And it just makes me feel more comforted. So, Drew still has to work after this. Like, he's gotta fully, we're going to his mom's house, setting up camp, and he's literally gonna work. And then I think maybe me and my mom are gonna either get lunch or go to a thrift store or something like that. So anyways, unnecessarily long context, but good morning. We're doing it. It's the final day. I am exhausted, but we're gonna have a fun day together. So let's do it. Gas station haul, 6 a.m. edition. We have a nice Dunkin' iced French French vanilla. <laughs> it's gotta be French. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Look, girl. Does anyone remember uh, that clip of all of the like it was a Miss Universe pageant, I think, and it, all the girls were like Argentina, like whatever. And the woman from France goes France. <laughs> uh, we're tired. I got chocolate donuts. That's all I wanted to say. And I got a honey bun. And I got. I think so. And what is it, salt and vinegar? Sour cream and onion? Yeah. I like, I have to have something salty. Like I just, I'm not gonna eat them now. Probably, I probably will. <laughs> I don't think I've ever had a Dunkin' give Donut. A, give us a taste, Seth. <laughs> Woo wee! I don't even feel like I can see you. The sugar. This vlog is gonna be so unhinged because I'm, being so honest, I'm so tired. <laughs> I don't want to look at we myself. We should have went to bed at 7.30 like someone suggested. <laughs> People weren't liking it. It was like 7.46 and I asked Drew something. I was like, do you want to blow a bun? He goes, I need to get ready for bed soon. I said, it's 7.46. <laughs> I was up at 3.30. That's crazy. But I'm just, I don't want to look at myself. I don't want to edit myself talking anymore. I don't want to film myself. I'm over it. I am sick of looking at myself. It's like hurting my teeth. It's so sweet. You can feel the cavity happening as mm -hmm. it's happening. Anyway, all right, let's hit the road. We got about three and a half hours to go. Wish us luck. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. That says Arizona welcoming us. <laughs> all right, update. It's 10.09 a.m. And we are about 45 minutes away, but we got to pee. So we stopped at a random rest area. Come with me. Come see what it looks like. Look, there's the freeway. Well, not that, but behind it. 
I know some of you don't live in Arizona or even don't live in the US and you're curious about what our rest stop may look like in the desert and this is it. There's the desert and there's the toilettes. Were your um, bathroom stalls like up to here? Yeah. Ours were too. It was, so as soon as I stood up after I peed, I was making eye contact with everyone else that was waiting. I was peeing and I was like, that's short. So weird. Back on the road we go. The sound and the lighting are not going to be good because we're in the car. Possibly. Absolutely not. <laughs> it helps so much. But I thought it would be fun since it's the last vlogmas and this will be my last vlog of 2023 most likely most definitely i thought it'd be fun to do like you know how spotify does like a wrap at the end of the year and they show you all that you've listened to and whatever i thought it'd be fun to like go through our year and just share some of Five my months. yeah share some of the highlights and like just our year in review our year wrapped if you will so i have a really bad memory you have a little say, bit better i don't know what i did in january yeah, I'm trying to think. January was like when I kind of started like back on my fitness game and I was trying to work out every day. I was filming for a video that's like exercising every day for 30 days or whatever. I would like to do that again this year, but like be way less intense about it. I think I got like into a really weird headspace with my body and it became much more of like a punishment based thing and I was just like really kind of struggling with that. And then like, other than that, did we go anywhere? Did we do anything? I know. I feel like I like we were both just recovering from like holiday burnout and I don't think we do much in January. No. Oh well and that's when it started raining, I think, right? It rained for like God first like Well yeah. it started in December. Did it start in December? Maybe. It rained for like four or five months pretty much straight in LA. Like and I mean There was good rain. Like raining every single day. Um that was always funny because we had to get Layla in and out of her Rainbow. little raincoat yeah. that had duckies, like little rubber duckies on it. And she hated it, bless her heart. But she hated being wet like so much, which we then learned was like a chow chow trait, is that they hate water. So I like can't. Yeah. I remember I went to, I dyed my hair brown. That was interesting. And then I went to Laguna. I had like some Laguna Beach trips. One of them was with Sierra and Grace. That was really fun. I do remember that. February. Valentine's Day. Did we do anything for Valentine's Day? Oh my God. It was also Layla's birthday. I remember we gave her like a little ice cream sundae. Well, it was vanilla ice cream with a tiny bit of whipped cream on top, and then we put like a candle because she was that was her 12th like birthday. Like steaks. Yeah, 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 yeah. We decided we always do this every year. We have like all these plans to go to these fancy restaurants. And I end up just cooking. Yeah, I made steaks. I got them from Bristol. Oh, fancy. Was fancy. Yeah, and then we had um. Like scones and clotted cream for breakfast. I remember that. Oh yeah, you and planned I, out like a whole day. I couldn't find plain scones. I had they were fruit, you know. <laughs> I thought they were good. We're driving through an area where there's like a lot of cow farms and things, and it smells so strong right now. I was like, uh, I would look through my camera roll, but I'm driving, and honestly, who cares? March. That was our trip. We went to Japan. We also celebrated six years dating. Highlight of my year. Oh my god, same. That was such a cool anniversary trip. I mean, definitely sucked because we got sick, but it was still a great trip. We went oh. with our friends Josh and Noelle, and Noelle's one of my dear friends from high school, and like, just so cool that we grew up and we were in our 30s and going to Japan with our significant others. Like, that was really, really cool. It was just such a fun trip. Such a fun trip. I can't wait to go back. We'll Let's definitely go back. Again yeah. this year. We might have to do it again we this year. Again. People get upset. That, not upset, but people are just like, why wouldn't you try new places? And it's like, I Find totally understand that. <laughs> I totally understand that, but at the same time, like, I, we just like going. We only have so many days off a year, and so sometimes it's really comforting to go back to places that you know. And that's the thing, too, like, why we would go back is because there's a lot of places within even the Tokyo area that we haven't even explored. Yeah, we definitely want to go back. We'd love to go to Okinawa at some point. That would be yes. really, really fun. I want to go to, like, northern Japan as well. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. Wait, I forgot. One of the most important things from March, I saw Taylor Swift. 
I went to the Aero store <laughs> like two, like a day and a half before we left for our trip to Japan. I possibly got sick from there, but also you got sick and no one else that I went to the Aero store with got sick. So like, I don't think that's where I got sick from, but I don't know. That was a huge highlight for me. Are you kidding? Oh my God. I had like an out of body experience the entire time. I was like, I can't believe because, you know, I had tickets to the Lover concert in, it was supposed to be in 2020. And when that got canceled, I was just gutted. I was like, this is never gonna happen. I'm never gonna see her again. And then it was like suddenly three years later that I was like in a stadium watching Taylor Swift perform in front of me. I was just like, what? And like Sierra and I had the best time with the rest of the girls and like yeah, the guy that was next man. to me. Yeah. I never even like, I don't think talked about this or maybe I did, but the guy that was next to me, I think about him like once a month probably. We had the time of our lives. We were holding hands, I think Kenny. We were holding hands, he went by himself. He was from LA, traveled to Phoenix for the tour. He was literally just there by himself. We were holding hands at one point, like singing. <laughs> we were harmonizing together. We were dancing, like we had the best night it was so much fun and i was like going back and forth between sierra and him and like we were just having a blast and then at the end of the night we were like saying goodbye to each other and we hugged and he said i had the time of my life fighting dragons with you which is like a lyric from this song on speak now a lyric from long live and it was just like the most magical moment like it was just great so yeah it was just the best night um april anything happened in April. It went. rained the whole month. We should have like written stuff down. Yeah, cause I don't, I don't remember. Yeah, May we went back to Phoenix. Yeah, May we went back for like a Mother's Day trip. That was cute. And that was Layla's last time going to Arizona. And she just like loved, she like just loved being with my mom. Like going to my mom's house was like her favorite thing ever. And that was really cute. And I'm so glad we had that time. Oh, also a highlight in May was when we went to the beach for Noelle's birthday. That was, oh, that was really fun. nice. We did like a beach bonfire. bonfire. And then in June, we went out for Josh's birthday. So we did like a little downtown. That yes. was really, like both of those were really, really fun. We love those guys. July, yeah, we went to Palm Springs in July. Um, and it was really fun. Like we, it was just Drew, me and my mom. And we did like a little, we stayed for what, like two, three nights? Yeah. The house was so cute, but it was fully like 118 degrees when we were there. And the house, like, it did not cool down at all. So we were sleeping in like 85 degrees at night and it was, we felt so bad for Layla. She was getting like hosed down and stuff and she got in the pool one time against her will. I was gonna say. I helped her in the pool and she was just like, uh-uh, didn't like it, but I wanted her to cool off, you know? And that was nice. That was like a really nice trip and we really enjoyed that. Good family time. We will definitely go back to Palm Springs together when it's not mm -hmm. hot out. So yeah, that was a good time. And then August was a, Boo. Terrible we're getting, we're getting into the bad months. Yeah, the bad Boo. months are coming. I'm sorry. It's just real life. Um, we lost Layla on August 5th. And I did have like plans for Alexa's birthday in the days leading up to it. And I loved celebrating her. We got our tattoos. My tattoo was inspired by me and Layla. And like we had a little night where we went out together and we stayed in like a cute little hotel. And it was like a fun girls' trip. But yeah, I mean, followed by one of the worst days of my life. Also, my dad and my brother were in town the day it happened. The day we lost Layla, they literally came into town pretty much, you know, immediately we drove with them to the hospital and that's where it happened. And it couldn't have worked out. Like I, at first I was like, this timing couldn't have been worse. But looking back, I'm like, the timing couldn't have been better because I had my family there. My brother got to see her, which he hadn't seen her in a long time and was like, so happy. I, like my dad literally, Layla would have murdered me to get to my dad. Like he was her favorite person in the entire world. So like the fact that he got to be with her in her final moments and stuff was like really special. Obviously when it actually happened, it was just me and Drew, but like he got to, we all were like just petting her like, oh Layla, we were just loving on her so much. And we were singing her this like song that my dad made up for her when she was little. And like, I know she heard it. She got really excited to see him and like she was not she well. Was really at the end of her life but she was really excited to see my dad and my brother and like us as well so yeah that was like a that's like a silver lining i guess and then september wait i got my wait. tattoo in august oh yeah you did i got my blue tattoo in august 
Yeah, I know. I got my Layla tattoo like right before, or one of my Layla tattoos, and then you got your Moo tattoo like a couple weeks before. And yeah, then we lost Moo six months or six weeks later to the day. Um, and that was equally awful. And it was like, yeah, we just knew that his time had come and he had taken like a rapid decline. And, I mean, it had been a slow decline, but then it was like a rapid one. And yeah, it was horrible. It was like, one of the worst days of my life I know for you too and it was raining and we were just like hugging each other outside in the rain like sobbing our eyes out and it was just horrible it was just a horrible experience but it is a part of life and like man I'm so lucky that we had them for as long as we did you know some people aren't lucky enough to like have their animals live to be that old and so yeah we were really lucky in that sense but man it still hurts yeah we talk about them like some. every day why we went to the UK in October. Oh yeah, and then segueing into October. <laughs> literally, was it the day after Moo passed away that it we was, booked the was, tickets? It was a few days. After. It was like it was like within the weekend. We were both like, we need to get out of here. Yeah, we booked the trip. And we were actually gonna book it for like three days from then. Yeah. We and as as we said let's let's chill a little bit. So we ended up taking like two weeks to let ourselves prepare and i'm also like i know you're not but like when i travel i love i like having time to like plan to yeah. prep to do stuff yeah you're more of like a the more time in between like you it drives you insane. i get like anxious yeah yeah we really really enjoyed our trip it was just such a like fun trip that we have been talking about doing for so long mm -hmm. and i mean i know what your highlight of the trip was comfortable yeah oh yeah for sure the country yeah he's a country I boy country boy <laughs> i don't know if, i don't know if i could live in it because there were lots of spiders in the house oh we my god in. you were freaking out drew is arachnophobic like actually like legit arachnophobic and he could not survive in the english countryside there, there are were, so many spiders they weren't even like they were just like daddy long leg type yeah. spiders well in, in but the they UK? were everywhere like yeah sorry if it's i i understand like where i live there's gonna be bug the spiders like bugs don't really yeah, you're bother literally me literally from arizona where you've had scorpions in your house but multiple times i'm sorry if i look up on the ceiling and there's a f cluster of spiders in the corner <laughs> that's not okay daddy long legs are harmless no they had to go i did save i did save some yeah i did relocate some good for you um I was trying to be nice, but no, get yeah. out, get out of my <laughs> get life. Get out of my house. But in the UK, they don't have screens on their windows. So like, if your window is open, whatever's outside is gonna come in. And like the house, you know, it was like a thatched roof and stuff. And there were like vines all over. So there was definitely, oh, you know, bugs. Everywhere. But I, man, I loved it. Oh. <laughs> I want to go back. Yeah. I want to go back. All so the trees bad. and the, the green rolling mm -hmm. hills. It was Drew's first time ever, like out in the countryside anywhere. Really, like you've only really been to like I mean you've been to like Alaska. This is my country. <laughs> this desert right here. We're stuck in this random traffic. Oh, perfect. Yeah, I, eight more yeah, yeah. I, I've been to. I have family that lives in Alaska, and I, I've been yeah. to Alaska, and it's beautiful. It really is beautiful, and but it's different. Alaska is. Yeah. I don't know. Alaska to me is like more like rugged. Like it's, oh, yeah. it's like intense. But like the countryside was like just, I don't know, like sweeping and like very like peaceful, gentle and peaceful. Yeah. yeah. I agree. And it's so green. So green. Mm -hmm. I loved it. It reminds me so much of Tennessee. So I'll be so curious to see like what your thoughts on Tennessee are because it was just so, there are so many parts of it that were really reminiscent. Both times I've been anywhere like outside of London. Crash. I'm like, oh my gosh. Oh. That's why it's taking so long. And it was the trip of a lifetime. We can't wait to go back. Then yes. in November, it was a big month because it was your birthday. And we actually did a lot of fun festivities. We went like all over the place. Theme parks. Theme parks. We went to dinners. We went to all over. We had a very friends. busy weekend. Yeah, we hung out with our friends. We did a lot. It was good. Went back for Thanksgiving. Oh yeah. <laughs> then like Remember. a few days later we dr we flew to Arizona and back for Thanksgiving. That was actually really nice. We enjoyed that, but we will not be traveling back for both holidays. Mm -hmm. uh, it's gonna be one or the other for sure. And then December started and here we are with Vlogmas. So, I mean, for us, that's a big year. For a lot of people, it's like, I traveled to 29 countries. I read 50 books. I did this and that, but it was a great year, honestly. Like there were some real low lows, probably mm -hmm. some of the lowest lows and then some real high highs as well. So 
can't wait for 2024 honestly like we have no idea that was that was a year Whew. let me tell you <laughs> I just thought I would show a little snippet of us, you know, going over our year in review, but there's probably tons of stuff we forgot about. Oh, I, I, yeah. But it was fun. It was a fun year, and it was also a really shitty year. Oh, we forgot to mention that it, after, um, two days after Layla, we went to Taylor Swift as well. Oh, yeah, And I we forgot. cried pretty My much the whole time. Tour. Yeah, yeah, your My tour. Tour was We did forget September. to mention that, yeah. We yep. did. I got to see Taylor Swift twice. I mean, that's pretty incredible. And when we were in England, we watched the movie, and it was really, really fun. Uh, okay. It was on our last day, and we were just, like, tired. We didn't want to do anything anymore. I was over crowds. And... Yeah, we didn't want to sightsee. We didn't want to do anything else. We just kind of wanted to, like, relax. But it was only, like, 2 in the afternoon, so we were like, let's yeah, go we see the Yeah, we were going to spend our last day going to, like, the museums and stuff. And I was like, I, I don't want to deal with... Mm any more crowds and drew is over it such a fun like taylor swift filled year <laughs> love it <laughs> anyway we're stuck in traffic so wish us luck we were supposed to be there like now 15 minutes ago. yellow, yellow. <laughs> happy last day of vlogmas hi, hi. <laughs> we're in the car i got my mom we're hey, matching Christmas. with our haircuts <laughs> I think I forgot to tell you, but when I was getting my hair done and she cut my bangs, I was like, I look like my mom. <laughs> but um, we had to make a quick stop at Kane's, obviously. Kane's is like, it's just one of my favorite parts about being home. So we're making a quick little stop for some lunch and then we're bringing some back to Drew. It's hard to see in this lighting because it's terrible, but look at my mom's and my Christmas vibes. <laughs> We, we, I almost got red again, but I had had red before I had the silver, so I was like, I'll just get green. But we've got the Christmas vibe. We go in, and we didn't even meet to. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Delicious. Love me some cane sauce. Love you, canes, girly. We took a quick pit stop into Savers with my mom, and we're in like the little home section. And there is so much good art everywhere. First of all, I'm just gonna show you all this stuff. It looks, I'm I'm in trouble. I'm gonna go home with everything. There's like these fruit and vegetable prints that definitely look like they're from the 90s, but they're so funky and cool. Amazing. There's little angels. Hello. There's a matching one over here. There's two vintage Saturday evening post um, like covers. Um, and I think they're both from 1951 insane there's this little like cottage like that would be so cute in my office i'm obsessed and then these freaking like felt knitted whatever they are i think i need the strawberries <laughs> like look how cute these are we have like a little secret garden moment there's just like so much good stuff i need it all there's also this like handmade owl i think this is i don't know what that's called not cross stitching that's really nice. There's these big floral numbers. Hello? These are all so good. We love. There's this cute little mini village. Look at all these things. God help me. I need I need medical help. I want to take all of it. I expressed a very large amount of restraint and only went with one. I'm proud of myself. We're looking through the jackets and like, are thrift stores okay these days? I mean, this is a very nice jacket, but $50 for a youth jacket that someone donated to you for free? Feels kind of crazy to me. Oh, crazy. Drew's napping apparently. <laughs> We're gonna chill very hard. And honestly, like, okay, uh, this Vlogmas, this day is a little bit of a flop as far as vlog goes, but I'm checked out. It's like I have senioritis or something, you know? But I figured it would be better to just show up and give you a real reflection of my day than not show up at all. Or like create some sort of false Christmas thing that really isn't happening. Hi buddy, I'm sitting with my buddy now. So anyway, I am going to log off for the rest of the year. I hope that you are able to have some time off and enjoy your friends and your family and whoever that may be, your chosen family, your animals, whoever. You know, I hope you enjoy it. Thank you so much for hanging out with me this month. It's been so, so much fun. And I can't wait to do it again next year. Every year I'm like, mm, I'm not gonna do that again. 
and then I have to because it's just so much fun and what makes it so much fun is all of you leaving your amazing comments and just like encouraging me and relating to me on like the most random stuff like it just means the world so seriously thank you and I would not be able to do this as my job without you all I almost quit vlogging this year <laughs> like that was crazy that was a thing that happened and because of all of you that's why I came back like you guys are just amazing and I freaking adore you so thank you so so much so yeah I'm gonna take some time off I may end up like filming a vlog or just a little bit of footage like while I'm on my break and then show you when I get back so maybe we'll do that but in the meantime I will catch you guys in 2024 Merry Christmas Happy Holidays whatever you celebrate I'm sending you all my love love y'all and I will see you next year bye say bye <laughs>